And let me tell you, if this isn't a highly debated topic, then I don't know what is. But I don't know why, because to me, the answer is just so freaking obvious and simple. An anime is not a cartoon. Like, those are two different things. People like to say they're the same thing. Um, an anime is a type of cartoon. I just, I get so irritated with hearing those type of things because I don't believe that that's true. I think anime is not a cartoon. It's totally different, watch, right? Even like, though I watch a few cartoons, I'm, I'm not ashamed to say, like, there are some cartoons that I'll watch in some days. Maybe I should be ashamed to say that. Whatever. But... So, um, even though anime did start off being heavily influenced by cartoons, like during the Disney come up and that entire era, now that's not the case. Anime is, is now its own thing, right? It's grown to be its, its own thing. And now cartoons are beginning to be more and more heavily influenced by anime. So the dynamics have really, really switched. Um, especially with Pokemon, right? So that's a heavily debated one. Is Pokemon an anime or a cartoon? With with Pokemon, that's a, a really big turning point when you really see how how much influence anime is really starting to have on, on cartoons in general. Because that really, I mean, it really looks like an anime. But, but is it? Pokemon is, is actually a cartoon. It was made by people who really, really understood everything that anime brings to the table and they really worked to incorporate a lot of the best aspects of that into Pokemon. So the reasons why Pokemon is often confused and called anime sometimes, but it's not. It's actually a cartoon. It's just heavily influenced by anime and it, the makers of Pokemon really understood those dynamics and really works to incorporate a lot of those aspects. Pokemon fan club. And now I'm heading to Lavender Town through Rock Tunnel. Oh. Here at last, Lavender Town. Welcome to our Pokemon Center. <laughs> I heard that a ghost um, The Last Airbender. That's another one. It's a really, really good cartoon. It's not an anime, though, guys. It's a cartoon. The Last Airbender is, a, is another one that a lot of people get confused for being anime, but it's not. It's a cartoon. It was just uh, really heavily influenced by anime culture. The makers of that really understood the positives that come with anime and really worked to incorporate that. So it's a little bit more three-dimensional it's not as two-dimensional things like that but the last airbender is a cartoon it's not an anime so don't say it in public because you'll embarrass yourself <laughs> animation finds itself in a really really exciting place because this generation is growing up with anime on their brain will be the ones to go on and make cartoons and so because we're living in this era where anime is such a big influence more cartoons that are just better in quality overall really resemble anime I mean it's just gonna be really really hard to it's gonna get even harder to tell us if it's not already hard most of the cartoons uh, in today's Western culture is still heavily influenced um, by what kids watch. It's, it's more tailored towards children as opposed to anime, which is uh, an adult thing, you know? Like, I'm looking down. Today's generation, millennials. Um, obviously, anime is something totally different from, car from a cartoon. I mean, a cartoon 
not only is it more of a Western culture thing, it is a lot more two-dimensional, it's a lot, a lot rougher, it's a lot more comedic. It, so a lot of cartoons are aimed mainly towards comedy. Um, look what just came in the mail. Uh, recently I got this I don't know why I got it but this like wallet it's the it's a the free wallet it, it, it wasn't free but like from the anime show free I really like that anime show especially because you you see a lot of animes that cater more towards the male audience they call it fan service and it's more towards like males and like free is one of those rare animes that caters towards the female audience and so there's like a lot of hot guys is that kind of sad hot like I'm referring to anime guys as, as hot guys but you do a lot of attractive anime male figures and so it caters more towards the females so I really liked it I really enjoyed it so much so that I bought the wallet or purse I should make a video when the difference between wallets and purses or something because I feel like people use it interchangeably. No, I'm not going to do that. But Despite what it might look like, it's actually quite cold out here. And I have to do it outside because of the lighting. Like I did my first video inside and I really, really hated the lighting. I didn't know how real the struggle was as far as lighting goes until I started making YouTube videos. And the picture quality is one of the main things. I can't stress that enough how the picture comes out, the movements, how everything flows, and the fact that it is it is from a Japanese culture. Uh, and if it was or originally Japanese, then most likely that's an anime, not a cartoon. The I mean, there's a wide range of what differentiates cartoons from animes. Now, I watched a video on YouTube, you guys, that said that it doesn't matter. Anime is a cartoon, and cartoon is anime. I was Lord, because I was like, this guy is ridiculous, right? Like, oh, what does it mean? He, it doesn't matter. I mean, one influenced the other and vice versa. Anime was heavily influenced by cartoons at the beginning during the 1800s and 1700s and so on. But now anime is influencing cartoons more. So they influence each other, which is fine, but they're not the same thing. You can't, like, don't use them interchangeably. It drives me crazy. It's mind-blowing. Very different. Which one's better? Well, of course, anime is better, <laughs> in my opinion. I know a lot of people say not one isn't better than the other, but I disagree. Anime is better, in my opinion, because just like they take more time and more care uh, as far as the graphics go, the storylines are more intense, a lot more detail oriented as far as the picture goes. So they take a lot more care when it comes to the quality of the picture and they don't really focus as much when it comes to movement of the mouth. So a lot of cartoons will do the vocals first they'll do vocals first and then they'll move on to actually make the cartoon itself the lip movement is a lot more precise when it comes to a lot of cartoons and a lot of animes don't do that a lot of animes the vocals come after and the anime is made first so the emphasis is more on the picture on how everything looks uh the you know color intensity as Speaking of which, you guys, I just bought this DVD. It's actually a DVD set that I just got, Basilisk, 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 Basilisk. Someone tell me how to pronounce this because I'm making myself look really, really crazy right now. But I, but I really love this show, so I bought the entire DVD collection set. So you guys let me know, have you watched the entire DVD and collection set? Is it good? What are your thoughts on it? I don't know. 
I just got it so I haven't had a chance to run through the whole thing yet. Um, now there are several cartoons out there that look like anime and like a lot of people call them anime but they're not and I think like people that watch a lot of anime and are really into anime are better able to tell the difference. That cartoon is more of a western culture, culture thing. Anime is more of a Japanese thing. So, I mean, when you're talking about cartoons, they're more 2D, they're less three-dimensional than animes are, um, and they're more of the western culture. Let me tell you guys, one of the craziest, dumbest things that I've heard not heard but I actually read um, was that well you can determine if an anime is an anime or if a cartoon is a cartoon by finding out who made that particular series that's like the dumbest shit I've ever heard you can't determine anything from that like I mean <laughs> and I'm pretty sure an American person could go to Japan and make anime or be a part of a team that makes anime that doesn't make it a cartoon because he's American. It's so dumb. It's dumb as shit, right? But what determines what makes an anime and what makes a cartoon are a series of things. It's not just one thing, right? So topics that anime covers are wide, wide in variety. There's a lot of action. There's a lot of blood in a lot of them. There's a lot of sex. You know, number one thing that stands out to me is just the picture quality. Um, the emphasis on making more three-dimensional characters as opposed to two-dimensional ca characters made in Japan. As well as the storyline. So it's a major, major differentiator between animes and cartoons. That's just how, what I think. You guys let me know your thoughts. Comment below. Subscribe for more videos. Of course, this is like a fairly new channel. Um, so I'm learning a lot already from you guys. I'm learning a lot from just the experience and I'm having a lot of fun making these videos so if you want to see something in particular uh, just let me know oh my god I heard is it recording I forgot that's still recording who does that is that like my life right now <laughs> I need you guys I need help guys I need help